What is up guys, Indie Gamer Retro here, and welcome back to Mango Mischief for the PC. Last episode, after making my way from the uh, uh, Blizzard Blooms area, just sailed around on my ship and came across here. The, what was this called? The Obscure Oasis, which led to the Hidden Haven, which was a pan in the ass dungeon. And I won me the left half of the skill medallion. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now I think I said I was going to on. Is it like straight across from the here? Oh, excuse me. Check out this place. Hmm. These are trees leading to a cave. They stay close together so they don't get lost. Got idea, Rack. Alright, let's not move together one. Actually, hold up. Yeah, I'm back here real quick. I have money, so I can go get me another um, ribbon, at least. But I'm looking here. Was this building always here before? East Haversine Condominium's first floor. Or did I just completely miss it? I think I probably just completely missed it entirely. One of the two islands southeast of here seems to be guarded by a big monster. A really intimidating <coughs> bad guy. I guess you have to beat him if you want to check out the station that he's guarding. He's just supposedly full of weird rooms and puzzles. Huh. Okay. Someone on the top floor said they were hungry. It's not my job to feed them, though. Welcome to East Haversine's Grand Hotel, with uh, modern condominiums on every floor. My name is David, and I am the owner of this fine establishment. The hotel is gigantic. How many units are in this place? We officially have infinitely many rooms, although they're all filled at the moment. Ah, hoping that maybe we can stay in a big fancy place like this sometime to get back in tip-top shape. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem, because there are only four of you here. But I thought all the rooms were taken. I just asked residents of room one to move to room two, two to move three, and so on. Seems like a lot of work, given an infinite number of guests that you have to switch over. It's absolutely worth it to squeeze in another group of customers, though. Although, when the next party arrives, I need to ask you to move from room 1 to 2 on to accommodate them. Maybe there's a better solution to this. Maybe we'll just find another place to stay that isn't as paradoxical. <laughs> if you change your mind, just let me know. I'll be happy to accommodate you with a room. Or in advance, should we look... I'm sorry, should we book a room? I imagine it takes quite a while to move every guest into the next unit. Moving everyone into the very next room does seem terribly inefficient. Perhaps I'll ask everyone to move ahead 10 or 20 rooms to make more space. But it's full and everything, what happens to the group in the last room? The last room? Anyways, I have a lot to think about, so I appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to speak with me again sometime so we can have the same conversation. Okay. how condominiums work. I thought a condominium... Never mind, it's a it's a penthouse I'm thinking about. Condominium is basically an apartment that you buy. Or like, semi-own. And, uh, it's a penthouse that I'm thinking about where each floor is its own... Hello. Each floor is its own, um, unit. I have a trivia question for you. Is that how you always greet strangers? Yay, for fun facts. If you answer correctly, you'll earn a special prize. What's the catch? Before asking you the question, I need payment in the amount of one mango. I think I actually have a mango. Just in case we don't answer correctly on the first try, do we need to give you an additional mango for every time we want to guess the answer? Can't you just reload your save file? Excuse me? <laughs> Never mind. You may answer as many times as you wish for a chance to win the prize. You only need to give me one mango. Here you go. Thank you. Give me a second to eat it, and then I'll... Wait, then we'll do the trivia question. Or to be completed. So how many is that now? Must be getting pretty close. So we're gonna go 1 to 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, just 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I got two more to do. I'm out of mangoes, I have to go grab the... Actually, am I out of mangoes? Nope, I got one more, okay. 
Omega was delicious. Ready for the trivia question? I promise you the prize is worth it. Yes, please. Sure, why not? Let's do this. I think we're ready. Okay, here we go. The man with the white hair who is exploring Elaris and studying the seven bridges. He is a mathematician. How do you spell his last name? He had a name? No, he didn't have a No, he didn't have a name, did he? He was like no. 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 But the Travity Mathematician. See, it just says Travity Mathematician. I don't fucking know. Okay, he's a mathematician. I didn't even know he had a name. Huh. I don't know. Hold up. Okay, so it never actually says his name in here, so I was wondering if maybe he pulled from like an actual person that lived. So I just did a quick Google search for um, famous mathematicians, and that didn't really help because it brought up hundreds of results going all the fucking way back to antiquity. I was like, okay, well, he was obsessed with bridges, so I just did mathematician seven bridges. I think you know seven of them. And um, I did manage to get a hit from some guy like way back when. 300 years ago. Yeah, some shit like that. And the, the result it gave me was Leonard Euler. So how, does, how do I have that spelled? I have to write it down. Let me try E, U, L, E, R. Congratulations! That's correct! Last name is Euler. How do you pronounce it? Euler. Could you say it again, please? There's no voice acting in this game, so you just have to read it. Oh! Oh, oh no, that's nice. That actually kind of... It kind of actually helps me out. Get that. But not why I was here. Not why I was here. Here, because I actually thought that the, um... Merchant, the other one, uh, sold, um... Whatchamacallit? No. Please do not. Only this one does. So, give me another one of those. HP MP. Probably get her like an HP one. M two MPs, and then another two MPs. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Globulus globulus goo and grimes make the jelly-like gels of cedar slimes. Shapeless and fluid, these colorful swarms embody the elements as magical forms. <coughs> Some replicate humans with similar skills, others lay low and avoid any thrills. Most of the slimes wish to be left in peace, though interloper intervention never seems to cease. Their home, the goo grotto, is found past the trees, is a safe and dark place, where the slimes have some space to survive and to pace and do as they please. Inside the dim cave resides the slime leader, he fights for his tribe from Grotto to Cedar. To bring pride and joy, he's brought home a trophy, a piece of medallion that heroes should go see. Okay. Ooh. Into dough, I check him. Just like stat items. Maximum. Uh. Okay, let's see what these are. Okay. I forgot what he has equipped though. But she has equipped. Oh, what? Oh, that healed it. Okay, so they heal from elemental. Okay, but well, that looks like what? What is that? Gel Guardian, Blade Master, and Magister. Okay, that looks like. Possibly Earth in the front, Fire, and then. Okay. Try that. Oh, you bastard. He has... I don't remember what he has on. Shit. Okay, so that's fire. Let's try Hydro. See if that's actually fire. You bastard! You speedy bastard! Easy. 
shit. You suck. Okay, you need to die like yesterday. God damn it! You're so quick! Okay, that's light. That. I guess you can just hit them all with dark, but. doesn't have that, so do like a triple swang. And then uh, something that does like do that. Okay, so these can absorb their elements. And I went I got everyone to level nine, like almost ten, with the uh, their last level. Now he's level ten with Octagony. Is that two max attack all and okay? What do those do? Octagony, Octagony. After a short charging period, deal a massive amount of physical damage to all enemies using all eight elements. Oh damn! And she got what? Max attack all. Okay. Enchanter, Archon, and Soothe looks like Wind, Dark, and Thunder. Alex, okay. Good elixir. Oh, hello, big slime. Please do not harm me, for I do not wish to fight any of you. You, you can talk? Why, of course I can, young man. You seem so very astonished by this fact. How come all your slime buddies keep attacking us? Wouldn't be a proper JRPG without slime enemies. You are uninvited human interlopers, and they are simply protecting our king, a noble slime who lives in this grotto. I can respect the importance of protecting a king at all costs. We are on a similar mission, to find our king and bring him home safely. Oh? Do go on. We also need to find some medallions to convince the king to help us out, and when we do find him. The slime king doesn't happen to know where any medallion pieces are, does he? If I give you information about a medallion piece, will you give me your word that you would not kill our king? Oh, we don't kill most baddies. We just knock them out and take their stuff. I'm not sure how reassuring that is, Marrow. <laughs> Awfully blunt. Okay, Marrow, that's a little creepy. Slime, you have my word that we will not kill your king. Just want to retrieve medallion pieces. Very good, then. King is the keeper of a medallion piece. Ever since he won it in the tournament, intruders have been invading our homes and trying to take it from him. 
you could kindly invest them in battle, then I would imagine he would finally be left alone. To go to us, which medallion does he have? King's resilience in battle has earned him half of the soul medallion. Enter into the grotto behind me and search for him, but I must warn you that it's dark and my brethren will be looking to foil your plan. Thank you for the help, Mr. Slime. My name is actually Sebastian Alistair von Cederich. Oh wow, that's a long name. The third. <laughs> I expect the slime to have such an interesting name. But surely you must admit that merely calling a slime slime is a tad unimaginative. Not purely tautological, yes? Point taken, Sebastian. Thank you for your help. Best of luck, humans, and please permit me to heal your wounds before you proceed. Has obtained all right. I'm gonna just go ahead and just clear the Eddie off. Already, signs have been cleared out. I'm like level six now. To the Goo Grotto. It's black in here. A blue Everflame. It's glowing. Well, what do you know? Looks like we'll be able to walk around in the dark after all. Really like how each of these treasures ends up providing a useful function for us as we progress through the journey. It would be pretty silly if we spent all the time retrieving items that just sit in our inventory and serve no actual purpose. Anyway, let's go find some medallions. KXP. Oh, oh, hello. Water gel and fire gel. Um, Pyromancy all. You suck. You just hit me with neutral magazine. He's got. I think he has a thunder weapon on, so. If I just. Judgment. Gotta whittle them all down. Hit that clash again. I got a ways of fucking pyro on that shit. Instead of like crowding you all for everyone else. If I were like a level or two higher. But she does get the water chaos, so we do that. And that works nicely, thank you. I know I am a fat bastard. Shit, last time I weighed myself, I was like 285, and that was months ago. I'm probably a lot more fatter than that now. What am I doing? I don't know why I did that for him. Now I can just lay smoke you. Damn. Thunder and ice. Okay. Uh, 
that one. Ultimate y'all. Not quite. They shoot, you motherfucker. There we go. Light and dark. Okay. Yeah. quicker because I can actually have two characters do that. Take it out. Shoop the whoop, maybe? Yes, shoop the whoop. All of the shoop the whoop. I'm just making my way through, and I'm gonna actually. Shit. Ooh, get a statue. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Yes, stay here. What's wrong with you? I'm go ahead and clear all of this. Back to this point. Good lord, there's a whole mess of slimes up in this place, yeah. Hey everyone, hold on a second. Alright, what's in your mind? Oh, I just figured that we were close to finding the Slime King. Why would you think that? Did you see something in the darkness? Well, we just passed another gold statue. I mean, the ones that magically heal us and are conveniently located right before important battles for some strange reason? Exactly. Nah, that's gotta be a coincidence. I think you might be overthinking things. Fair enough. Oh my god. Come on. Try to pull it this way. Holy crap! Okay, let me just clear everything up to here. Okie dokie, Jesus Christ. Okay, level 10. Triple Recoil, Cheap Death, Chimera Pack, and Hybrid Pack. What are those? Okay. You got what? Actually, what the hell did he just get? Okay, you got triple recoil. Okay. Okay, cheap death. Now that becomes temporarily immortal for three turns and it not knocked the conscious when their HP reaches zero. Oh damn. Chimera pack. Has all buffs on all allies, jeez. And 
lone hybrid it has all debuffs on one end. No, hi no hybrid pack. It has all debuffs on all animals. Damn. Okay. Oh yeah. Really? Uh, let me go back and just take care of these three. Okay. Son of a shit, dude. Okie dokie. God damn, man. Okay. Not too bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. So many slimes in here. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Holy for holy, that was so many damn slimes. Jesus. Uh, level 8, close to level 9. That's good enough, I guess. Oh, hello. All Hill King Camouflagel. Camouflagel? Camouflagel. Camouflagel, something. Will not fight you in front of the king, but please be respectful to him. Okay? We slimes never had a home of our own until Camouflage found this cave for us. Or Camouflage, I guess. Parents named him that because he's able to change his colors. Oh crap, really? One of those? Our king holds the hearts and souls of all the silly, slimy subjects. Choose Camouflage to become our king after he single handedly saved us from a pack of monsters. We trust King Camouflage with our lives, and he always protects us. Uh huh? Camouf Camouflage has the amazing ability to resist and even absorb many attacks. All slimes do that. What are you talking about? You silly shit. Yes, stay here, God. What the fuck is wrong with you? Time for another showdown. And here we go again. It's the leader of the Blob Baddies. Pardon us, Your Majesty. We do not wish to trespass in your home, but we have a sincere favor to ask of you. My comrades and I have been journeying around the world, looking for King Guffin of Hargoth and seeking treasures for him. Our quests have brought us to your grotto, and we have heard that you hold one of the fabled pieces of a medallion. We'd be eternally grateful if you would allow us to buy or win your half of the soul medallion. Okay. What the? Whoa. Yay! That was a lot easier than I thought. Can I be honest with you all? Of course, Your Majesty. I'm exhausted. What do you mean? I was hoping that winning this trophy would bring pride and joy to my slimes, and it certainly has. But it also brought countless invaders to our home to try and take it from us. I fear that keeping this medallion piece is causing us more trouble than it's worth. Then how about we just take the piece off your hands for you, so it's a win-win. Unfortunately, it's not quite that simple. Never is. I am responsible for defending our home, and surrendering so easily to you might cause my slimes to lose faith in me. We understand what it feels like to want to protect others, to make sure they are healthy, and to want to spend time with those you care about. That means you're supposed to be making the right decisions, even when they hurt. I care too much to give up so easily, and I don't want to let my slimes down by showing weakness. So instead of showing them weakness, how about you show them your resilience? Fight for them and put your heart into it. Okay, he can change elements. Okay, that looks like water. Let's see, is that water? Yes, that is water. Ah, you hope. That's not too bad, actually. That was God, never mind. I say that is trash enemy. Never mind. Okay, that's fun. Uh, no, that's Earth. No. Shit. Earth, maybe? No. That that god damn that was thunder. Back. Back is a something McGerman guy. Oh. Okay, that's dork. You have this. I can do that. It does a lot of light damage. That's fire.
bad's eyes. Shit. So close. Probably would, if I would have been level 10, probably would have bumped up her magic enough to like instantly smote him like we spell that's probably earth. Yeah, that's more brownish color. Ow. Wind. Ow. Doing a little bit more damage per hit now. And light. Boom. Chakalaka. Boom. Nine. Okay. What is going on here? Have you attacked King Camoufla Camouflagel? We will destroy you intruders. Yeah, did you see what I did, you know, to get here? I, like, slaughtered everything that I saw. That wasn't me. These humans have done nothing wrong. In fact, today, they have helped us all. I've come to realize that keeping a medallion piece in our home makes us a target for enemies. While other invaders, invaders have exhibited greed, malintent, and disregard for our slimes, these four humans are the first to show me kindness, difference, and humility. I am grateful for being bested by one who clearly cares so much about others and embodies a soul for nature. You have earned my prize trophy. And I hope that this means that Cedar Slimes and Goo Grotto will no longer face frequent attacks. Seen one of the two soul medallion halves. Yoy! Hope my fellow slimes will continue to put their trust in me. Soul left half has been completed. Keep medallion peas. Keep in mind who I'm fighting for while I'm on this journey. Or like, uh, ooh, excuse me, characters that are like <coughs> darkened out. I guess, maybe? And light. Freaking show off. She must be a healer too, or something, or I don't know. Guess he's a healer. 
not really sure what they were just doing. Or she probably still could be a healer and just sink with something that he can't cure, or they can't cure. He still never said what her mom actually does for the king. She just says she works for him. And she's always, like, leaving to go do stuff, but doesn't actually say what that stuff is. now. Still looking can flagell. Sometimes don't need a medallion to tell us that we care about each other. I think the king's decision was reasonable. I'm not sure if I agree with his decision, but I still respect the king for doing what he feels is best for us. Even if the intruders keep coming, we'll be ready for them. Well, see, they have no reason to now. Medallion or no medallion, King Camouflage will continue to take care of us all. To care for us all, even. Trading away a trophy for the possibility of peace is a very wise and selfless exchange. Yeah, exactly. That was a tough decision to make, but I'm glad I didn't have to make it. Not sure. Okay, I already did that one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. That wasn't too, too bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys. Uh... I'm gonna head back to town. Do I have enough to get a medallion? Oh god, yes I do. I have enough to get another med medalliano. Um, uh, go do that, and then I guess I can head south. And check out what that area down there is. And then, uh, from there... I guess I hit these other ones that are, um... On that island, and they just like make my way around. There's a big open desert over there. There's that shit that's blocked by mountains, that shit blocked by fire, and all that other stuff towards the southwest corner. But I guess I can just take care of that whenever I get to it. Probably get to level 9, almost 10, like I did last time off screen. So uh, until then, this is Indie Gamer Retro on Mango Mischief. Later, guys.